today we're going to be talking about nuts. Now, I'm not talking about those nuts, but I'm talking about these kind of nuts. Or some people call them a chuck. And the way they work is you have a curved surface and a flat surface. And you have a tapered surface on this end and you can stick them any way you want. What you're looking for is a constriction. So we're looking for a constriction and if I just slide that guy in there and pull on it, now I have good surface area all over it. But I could make it better if maybe I flipped it over and now it's going with the taper of the curve. So let's, let's say I have my nut in there. I set it pretty hard with a nut tool and you'll notice this isn't the best placement because it has this little edge here and a little edge here. It'd be nicer to have some more material, but sometimes you don't get a choice. Now, let's say I set that real good. I climbed on it. I even maybe fell on it. This guy can get really hard to get out. And that's where a tool like a nut tool comes in. And one way to do a nut tool, the easiest way is to slide it underneath the cable and then give it a little pop with your hand and then you sometimes have to finesse it out or you can put it inside that hole and give it a pop and you can kind of finesse it out like so and we got our nut back so let's say you forgot your nut tool so if you forget your nut tool you're kind of screwed but the other day what we used is uh believe it or not um a Gerber tool and we just use this little guy and we're able to squeeze it back there and give it a little tap. This is like a perfect vertical crack that has a constriction or a taper and sometimes these can be filled full of moss. It's really nice to take your tool and dig out that moss. Maybe we'll do it over here. Dig out that moss or lichen so that we can see what we're doing and that allows us to get some good contact on this rock. But back over here, get that ready. So I'm gonna slide my cam, my cam, I'm gonna slide my nut right in here and I'm gonna pull it down. All right, that's set pretty good. Now one thing that's important is when using nuts, you don't wanna put a single carabiner here. You don't want to put a single carabiner here and then your rope because as you go up the rope can literally pull that nut out in theory or it rotates weird you'll see some egg climbers i'll put two carabiners here but really the pro move is to use an alpine draw and then you clip your rope in to here now you can shorten this alpine draw or lengthen it out but giving this extra webbing allows it to move, your rope to move up without it really pulling on this anchor. Now, let's say it, no matter what you do, it's going to pull up and out your nut. What you can do is you can set another nut down in this location, and then you can make it so that there's no way for this nut to pull out while you're going up and just thread another nut in like this and that's the nice thing about the alpine draw is we can use all this material to work with and you could this one it's so nice um i could either put a clove hitch down here like I could just do a little clove hitch right here. This would be probably the best way to do it. Okay, so now as I go up, this one keeps this one from pulling out. And then if I fall down, it just locks down. Um, some people might consider going with maybe just doing this, which is possible, right? That looks pretty good, but it's gonna be case by case. 
So it's gonna be up like this, fall, down like that. This one isn't gonna help you a whole lot with the fall because if you fall and this one comes out, this one will just drop out. So. All right, so uh, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.